Hello everyone and welcome to Mikey Taylor Gaming. This is the second Wii U hacking video that I've got to show you, and obviously by the title you already know what it is. We're going to get a Wii U to play GameCube games. Now, if you haven't already watched the first Wii U hacking video, then I would recommend that because we need the homebrew channel on the Wii U for this to work. So, there are a few prerequisites as well as that, and they are you need some retail GameCube games. Now, the reason for that, anti-piracy. The creators of this do not want pirates to be copywriting all these games and stuff, so you need some real games in order for this to work. The second thing you need is a Wii and a Wii U, both with the homebrew channel. Now the Wii can read GameCube games, so that's where the data for the games is going to come from. You're going to insert the GameCube game, and then it's going to rip it onto an SD card or a USB flash drive so that the Wii U can read it. The third thing you need is Clean Rip, and this is the program that rips the game from the Wii onto an SD card. The fourth thing is Devolution, which is the program that plays the games on the Wii U. You need a FAT32 formatted SD card, and if you don't know how to do that, then I'll show you on the computer as well. It has to be over 2 gig because GameCube games are about 1.4 gig, I believe. So yeah, if you haven't got one that big, then just use a USB flash drive or something. The fifth thing, I think that's the fifth, you need a Wii remote and a classic controller or a Pro Controller, or a Wii U Pro Controller, or apparently a PS3 controller works as well, as long as you've got it plugged in with a mini USB, but I'm not too sure about that, so don't quote me on it. I mean, I, I don't have a PS3 controller, so we won't be doing that. Anyway, now we're going to go onto the computer. I'll show you where to download everything. I'll show you how to do everything. If anything's going on with the Wii, I'll record the Wii and show you exactly what to do with everything, so let's get on with it, shall we? Okay guys, so the first thing we need to do is put the SD card into the computer and then go to my computer. Now we want to format this SD card into FAT32 file format. So you can see here I've got the Wii hack. Come down to format using the right click option and then here where it says file system, click FAT32. Once you've done that, just press the start button and that should start to format. One thing to mention, yes, formatting will erase all the data on the SD card. So make sure you've backed that up first if you need anything that's on there. The second thing we need to do, let's download these files. So go to webrew.org slash wiki slash clean rip. I'll put this in the description anyway, so you won't need to go to this. Uh, and click the download button here. And this will take us to a Google code page. Clean rip v2 and then clean rip v2 again. And that'll download it. I've already downloaded it once, so now I've got a little one in the corner there. And the second thing we need to download is this. Now this is a direct download link, so I'll just link this in the description and then you'll be able to get it really quickly. So now all we're doing is waiting for this SD card to become formatted. So we'll be back in a second when that's finished. So guys, that SD card is now formatted as FAT32. Now if you really want to check this, then you want to open up your My Computer and go to WeHack or whichever SD card it is and then click on Properties. What you'll see is that it says under file system here, FAT32, and that's exactly what we want it to be. So now it's time to put the files that we've just downloaded onto that SD card. Now I've accidentally just shut WeHack, but it needs to be open for this, so we'll open WeHack up again. And then we need to go to the downloads folder to find those files that we've just downloaded. So you can see here, we've got CleanRip and GC Devolu Devolution. So, open up CleanRip and just drag that apps folder into the Wii Hack G, or the Wii Hack, whichever letter the drive is. Cross off the uh, clean rip and then open up GC Devolution, Devolution. Open up the apps folder here and then just drag that GC Devo into apps. And just make sure that both of those are in the apps folder. So we'll open that up and you'll see that clean rip and GC Devolution are both in that apps folder. So now it's time to put this SD card into your original Wii. Make sure you put it in the original Wii, and then I will guide you through this little process next. So guys, with all of those files put onto the SD card, it's time to put it into your original Wii. Now you're gonna see this SD icon in the corner turn blue now when I insert it, and there you go. And you also need to have a GameCube disc inserted. I've actually got Mario Sunshine in there, and then load up the homebrew channel. It's really important that you've got over 1.35 gigabytes of space left on your SD card or on your USB drive, because GameCube games actually rip at that size using this application. So go to CleanRip and load that up. 
Now you're going to get a little disclaimer up, and here it is. It says that the author is not responsible for any damages that could occur during the removal, blah, blah, blah. I can't read when I do this sort of thing. So yes, uh, the device type is the front SD, and we need to insert a FAT32 format device, which we've already done. Choose not to download them. My internet doesn't work very well with this, I don't think. And then you can insert your disk now if you like, and press A to continue. And this will start initializing the disk, finding out what the game is, finding out all the codes, and then it's just gonna rip to your SD card. So this will take a little while at nine, nine megabytes? Oh yeah, two, kil two megabytes per second. So, we'll be back in a moment when that's finished ripping. So guys, the data has been successfully copied from that GameCube game onto my SD card. Now what we wanna do is just go back to the homebrew menu or the homebrew channel or the system menu and just turn the Wii off safely. Then take the SD card out of the Nintendo Wii and put it back into the computer again. So guys, as I just mentioned, all you have to do is put your SD card into the computer and then you'll get something like this. Now these three files are what CleanRips created and we want to make a new folder called Games. So if I can spell this right, Games. Right, and then you put those three files that have been created into the Games folder. Once you've done that, you're free to take the SD card back out of the computer and back into the original Wii. Make sure you put it in the original Wii. I think you can tell the difference between those two though, so yes. So guys, this is probably the hardest part of this guide, but if you follow along just right, I've got two screens up at the moment so you can see exactly what I'm doing. You'll have absolutely no problems doing this. And once you've done it once, you can do it a million times. So, the first thing we want to do is eject this GameCube game from the Wii. Put it at the side because we're going to need it again in a minute. And then insert the SD card and go to the Homebrew channel. Now, once we're in the Homebrew channel, we need to load up Devolution, which is the application that loads GameCube backups. And we're going to verify a disk using it right now, which is very important. And if you're using this Wii Remote to verify the disk, you must use this Wii Remote on your Wii U as well. It's some kind of anti-piracy that's built in, so just do it. That's, that's all I have to offer. Plug your classic controller into the Wii Remote, and you'll notice that on screen now we have a bit that says... X to mount USB drive, Y to mount SD card, or B to exit. Now this isn't referring to X, Y, and B on the classic controller. What it's actually asking for is GameCube inputs, but obviously we're not using a GameCube controller, so we have to translate these. Now, B actually equals A, X equals Y, A equals X, and Y equals B. So what we need to do, if we're using the SD card, we need to press X, to mount the SD card and then we want to press B for A to go forward and now it'll make a memory card file to emulate and it'll also try and verify the disk but it's not going to try and verify the disk for about 20 to 30 seconds and in that time nothing is going to happen down here we're just going to be in a panic wondering if it's working so after a few seconds maybe 20 to 30 this Wii remote light's going to start flashing and the slot on the front of the Wii there also starts flashing this is an indication that we need to put the disc back in to verify that we actually own it. So put the disc back in. Uh, the Wii's gonna start reading that for another 30 seconds to one minute. So this is quite a long process, but I'm gonna stick with you so you know exactly how long it takes. This Wii remote should continue flashing until the game is linked. And even then it's gonna continue to flash. Every now and then you'll get some flashing on the front of the Wii drive and the game should load up just right. Now, once the game's loaded, we can actually choose which slot we want this uh, Wii Remote to be on using the controller here. But we'll go on to that in a second, as soon as it's loaded. It shouldn't take much longer now. Any second, there we go. Right, okay, so now we're loading up Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, as you can see here, the light on the controller is still flashing. So, if we press plus, we can actually change which player this guy is. But we want him to be player one, so we press the home menu button on the controller there and that'll stop this flashing in position one. We can carry on as well by pressing plus, uh, that's the start button, and these buttons are actually mapped how I mentioned on the main screen there, on the, on the devolution screen. So it's a bit confusing, but you will get used to that. So, we can start up Mario Sunshine just like it was a regular game. No, we don't want to blah blah blah. Okay, so, you need to use your uh, analog stick here to run around and uh, B is to jump and blah blah. So, 
Now we need to get this working on the Wii U. So we're gonna go over to that. All we need to do is remove this SD card and plug it into the Wii U. And don't forget to sync this remote up to your Wii U as well. So I will meet you over there, guys. So to get this working with the Wii U, we need to take the SD card out of the Wii and put it into the Wii U. Now, once you've done that, don't forget to sync up your Wii remote that you use to verify the game, because this is very important. Without this remote, it will not work. So, once it's synced up, load up your Wii menu on the Wii U, on the TV there, like that. And then we can load up the Homebrew channel. Now, we're gonna be using Devolution again to load this GameCube game, and the reason we couldn't verify it using the Wii U is because the Wii U can't actually read GameCube discs, so. That's a whole other story, but yeah, this is why we have to use a Wii to verify the disc. Anyway, now that the Wii menu's loaded, load up the Homebrew channel and then load up the application Devolution. And uh, again, do not forget that it has to be this controller that you load it up with, because when lots of you start complaining, it's probably because of this. Anyway, load up Devolution, plug your controller into the classic controller, like so. And then these mappings are the same as they were on the Wii, so we want to press X to load from SD and B to set that game off. Now, another thing to mention is that if you have saved it to an SD card, you actually cannot transfer that over to a USB drive because the verification code will be different. So if you want to put a load of games onto one thing, you need a big USB hard drive or, or flash drive and just rip a load of games all at once. So the first time you load a game up on the Wii U, it'll take a while. We want to leave it about 30 seconds or so. Now the camera's gone a little bit blurry, so I'm going to put my hands there to keep it from blurring up. And uh, after we've left it about 30 seconds to a minute, we want to press the A button and then the controller will sync up. Now if it doesn't sync up straight away, that doesn't matter. Uh, just leave it for a little bit longer and then press the A button. So we've loaded up here clearly, and there you go. It's loaded up. So now we've got Super Mario Sunshine, which is a GameCube game, loaded up on your Wii U. Now that's a hack if I ever did see one. And for some reason, oh I know, I haven't pressed the home button, don't forget to do that, to register this as controller one. So now that we've done that, now we can play the game. That makes more sense, doesn't it? Okay, so, for some reason the camera's a little bit jerky, so I'm sorry about that guys, but... Uh, yeah, let's format that memory card. Yes, we want to erase the memory card files. Okay, so, let's not save though, there you go. We are 100% sorted with playing Super Mario Galaxy. Eh, my Gary, Galaxy Sunshine, yeah, I'm all confused now because I'm so excited. So, we can't skip all of this intro sequence because this is not a cutscene that you can skip. So, that's basically how you do it guys, so have fun playing GameCube games all over again on your Wii U console. They will load a little bit faster as well because they don't have to be loaded from disc. So yes, thanks very much for watching and please like, share and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video because there will be more to come. I will see you next time guys, bye bye. Hello everyone and thanks very much for joining me with this hacking video today. Now if you have liked it then please like, share and subscribe. I'm sure there's hundreds of people out there, maybe thousands, that would love to know how to play GameCube games on the Wii U because the GameCube is not dead. Now if you want to check out some of my other videos, on the left hand box here you'll find out how you can paint your Wii exactly like the one you've seen in this video today. If you click on the right hand box you'll be taken to a glitches playlist which I've come up with myself and they are pretty good glitches. So get yourself over there and thanks for watching again guys.